Greetings people! So, now I'm gonna show you how you can create a key card pickup that will unlock a locked door. Well, actually I'm just gonna show you how to create a pickup that will, if you have picked it up, turn off a light or toggle the light, but you know, the game mechanics is the same, so if you know how to create that, then you, then you can create the key card and the door. Um, and first of all, I need to really thank Glady and Zachman186 from uh, Unreal Engine Answer Hub. They have both been a great help to teach me how to do this. And so, yeah, now I'm gonna transfer it to you. So, I'm gonna use Unreal Engine 4.6. You can probably use earlier versions as well, no problem. And for the conveniency of it, I'm gonna use the um, first person blueprint template. Because then we know that the player character is, uh, you know, its collisions are correctly set and whatever. You can surely use your own player character if you want that. But then you will have to know how to set it up. Okay, so I'm just gonna call this project Pickup Tut. No, Tutorial, 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 Pickup Tutorial, Create. And while learning this, I had, you know, a few problems, and, you know, I set it all up correctly, and it just didn't work and I didn't understand anything and nobody understood anything and then uh, Zachman put up you know really precise screenshots of his collisions and it turned out it was simply the collisions that were wrong so I'm gonna make sure you don't have to have those problems by going through everything um, so I'm just aligning these things like I like them so okay first we're gonna create the pickup mesh so I'm gonna take the template cube and uh, duplicate it and just call it pickup cube and I'm gonna go into it and give it a more interesting material so in starter content materials and tech hex style pulse is awesome like that so save and get the hell out of there so now we're gonna go to the blueprints folder and here we will create three different blueprint classes the first is an inventory interface which will handle the the item the pickup and the next is the pickup class and a light class so the light will be toggled or turned off when the pickup is picked up yeah so right click go to blueprints and take blueprint interface and I'm just gonna call that inventory interface now next a new blueprint actor this time and I'm just gonna call that pickup box because it's a pickup box and lastly but not leastly another blueprint actor and I'm just gonna call that light save all yes okay so let's enter the inventory interface now start by creating a function and this function will be called add inventory this will add the item to the inventory so with that selected go down to inputs and create new and we're gonna choose a string and call this just item that's good now we're gonna create another function and it's gonna be called check 
inventory and with check inventory selected go down to inputs and create another string which also will be called item surely you can call it whatever you want but item is good you know but this will also have an output so we will create a boolean a boolean output and it's gonna be I'm gonna call that like picked up because it's gonna check that the item is picked up yeah that it exists in the inventory so let's see and item I'll put yeah that looks good so save that and now you can just open both lights pick up box and my character so we have them readily available here so I'm gonna go to pick up box first and create that class so I'm gonna start by adding components and it's gonna be a static mesh and I'm gonna call the static mesh pick up box and in the static mesh selector find your pickup pickup cube uh, and um, I want it to be a little bit smaller so I'm gonna say 0 0.4 just because no reason compile and save you can scroll out to see it so that's good enough for now and then go to your light add components and I'm just gonna add a point light and it can be called point light that's okay but I'm gonna intensify the intensity and I'm gonna make the light color red like that compile save so next is add another component and it's gonna be a box collision so I'm gonna call that lights collision box for example so when the player overlaps that box it will check whether it has the pickup and if it has then it will toggle the lights so now we will go to my character or your character and we will create a new variable a variable and the new variable is gonna be called well first it's gonna be a string and it's gonna be an array or array so you get that by clicking that little button or whatever and I'm gonna call that inventory inventory so the next thing is to go up to blueprint props we're gonna implement the inventory interface then in the details scroll all the way down to interfaces implemented interfaces add inventory interface then you can see the check inventory has popped up here so you can double click that I'm gonna drag this out and now I'm gonna drag the inventory variable in here and I'm gonna get it then I'm gonna drag this node out and search for contains and then add item to that and add pick, uh, connect picked up bool to that so it will check that the item exists or are picked up so compile and then go back to the event graph and drag this inventory in again then search for add you're gonna add it to the inventory or to the array then drag this node out and add event inventory like that then connect item to this node okay 
So now the character blueprint is set up. So we can go back to pick up box and then go to the graph and select the pickup box then go to events add event for pickup box on component begin overlap so when the player overlaps the pickup box it will be added to the inventory as an item so we're gonna search for add inventory like that then connect target to other actor which is itself and then when it is added to the inventory we want it to be destroyed in order to remove it from the game well from the viewable game at least so now let's go to the light graph select light collision box add event for light collision box on component begin overlap now we're gonna check if the pickup has been added to the inventory so we're gonna search for check inventory like that and we're gonna connect target to other actor itself and then we're gonna drag out and create a branch and the condition is that the item is picked up so if that is the case then it's true and when that's true we're gonna toggle the light so I'm gonna drag this point light in and I'm gonna get it and then I'm gonna drag this node out and search for toggle toggle visibility and connect this to true like that compile save now now everything should be correct so we're gonna try well actually first we have to place the place this into the scene so I'm gonna place the pickup box right here and I'm gonna place my light in the corner like that So, and then I'm gonna build just to build the lights. Now, give me a drum roll, play. So, if we go to the lights, nothing happens, which is as expected. We go here, and oh. We can't pick up the goddamn box. So this is where I was stuck. But no worries. What we're gonna do now is go back into our pickup box. We're gonna go to components. I'm gonna select the pickup box and we're gonna scroll all the way down to collision. And here we have a little sucker called simulation generates hit events. So check that. And just to make sure everything is okay, we're gonna go to collision, collision presets, click this, and take custom. Then on collision enabled, we're gonna have no physics collision. And in the object type, we're gonna pick pawn. And we're gonna ignore all of these except pawn, which is gonna be overlap compile save and just to be sure absolutely sure we're gonna do the same for the light so we're gonna go to components on the light and select the light collision box scroll all the way down to collision again check simulation generates hit events collision presets again custom collision enabled no physics collision and ignore all of them except Pawn. Compile, save. And now, if you have your own character player, you will have to go to my character and, you know, take this collision capsule or what, whatever you have and make sure that the collision 
is set to pawn and perhaps simulation generates hit events I don't I don't remember but I don't think that's necessary now so now let's cross all our fingers and whatever we can cross and every, check that everything is compiled and saved and now give me the drum roll first we go to the light nothing happens then we pick up the box and bloop, you got the key and it toggles it toggles and it toggles so that's it now just for fun I think it's fun at least to create some strings so when it's when you have picked up the pickup we can take print string and we can say let's say you know picked up key card you know yay I picked up the key card compile save and then go to the light and on the false node take print again print string uh, access denied need key card you know and this text will be red or pinkish red then on true we're gonna print string and write access granted yes compile save and now it's just awesome because when you take play you can go to the light and you will see access denied need key card what what did you say access denied yes so take it boop, picked up key card pick it and tsh, access granted so there you have it that should solve all your problems and if not create a comment let me know and Good luck and have a great day and enjoy your life and everything.